In this video, I'm gonna show you a signature right hand guitar technique for flamenco guitar, de rasgueado. So if you'd like to play something like this, then please stick around. This particular rasgueado is one of the most popularly used ones. You're gonna do ring, middle, index, index. Down, 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 up. All right, so let's start off with the mechanics in the form of this technique. It's important to note that there's two ways to hold your form for the rasgueado. All right, position number one, you wanna anchor your thumb on the sixth string, just like we do with many of the other techniques. From there, you wanna put your fingers back up towards the palm. You could just gently touch the back of the palm and then you follow through from there. Position number two is a little bit different. You still anchor your thumb on the sixth string, but we do it a little bit more vertically. And now instead of putting the fingers back towards the palm, we're gonna actually rest them on the back of the thumb. So we have a place to gently launch off of. So we're gonna put the thumb on there. It's gonna be index on the top, the middle in the middle, and then the ring finger on the bottom. And then you're gonna launch off. So let's get to the first exercise. We're gonna gently cover up the strings with the left hand in what's called muting or seco in flamenco so that we don't have to worry about any chords for now. We just wanna get that right hand in motion. So the exercise is gonna be a four count rhythm and it's gonna go something like this. One E and a, two E and a, three and four and. Now let's just take an E chord and go through the exercise once again. One E and a, two E and a, three and four and. Now let's go down the checklist of things we need to look out for when we're learning this technique. And if you'd like to keep up with my weekly lessons, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, number one, you wanna make sure that each finger follows through with a quick burst. You don't wanna drag it across the strings. You wanna have this type of sound. You don't wanna do this. Okay, number two, after you follow through with that quick burst, you wanna make sure that you relax the fingers. You definitely don't wanna follow through and then have each finger holding tension or feeling really stiff. Number three, when you make it to the index fingers upstroke, make sure all the fingers come back up with it. This way, they're all ready to come back down again. Otherwise, you'll be adding an extra step. Okay, so just to recap, it's a quick burst follow through. Relax the finger, quick burst follow through, relax. And then when we bring the index finger back up, all the fingers come back up. So keep the practice up and I will see you in the next video.